Hello everyone, welcome to my channel NCRT Mathematics Learning Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss with you the 7th question of exercise 7.1. The question says, find the point on the x-axis which is equidistant from these two points. Okay, so very first thing we need to understand what is equidistant. Equidistant is nothing but it is at equal distance from these two points. Okay. And we need to uh, check that point on the x-axis. That point lies on the x-axis which is equidistant. Means it, it is at equal distance from these two points. Okay. So I have drawn a line here. Line AB. I have just named it ran randomly of my own. You can name it according to you. Fine. So uh, first point I have taken it as A. And I have written the coordinate of that. Then second point I have taken it as B. And I have written the coordinate of this point as well. Now I need to find the point which is equidistant from these two points. Equidistant means uh, I just now told you it is at equal distance, right? So let me just mark it here. What what should I name it? Let me name it as O. So whenever a point is lying on the x-axis, so if a point is lying here. Okay, so this is x axis and this is y axis, right? So x x dash, y, y dash. So whenever a point is lying on this x axis, how do you name the coordinate? We need to understand, we need to find the position of this point with respect to x axis. So maybe at this point, I have not written the coordinates here. So maybe this point here is 2 or 1 something. So let, uh, let me write it as 2. What about the y axis? Where does it lie with respect to y-axis? This is the y-axis, right? So you can observe here this point is lying here. So what what does this indicate? Where it is lying? The y-axis for this particular point is 0. Right? In the same way, if I am asking you what is the position of this point? Again, you will be just uh, uh, find the position of this point with respect to x-axis. So maybe it is minus 3. In the same way, if you will go for y-axis, find the position of this point with respect to y-axis. You can observe here, this point is lying on the x-axis itself. So, the y-coordinate will be 0. Right? So, whenever the point is lying on the x-axis, always you can observe you are getting some point in place of x-axis, x-coordinate. But, you are getting 0 with respect to y-axis. Right? You can observe in both the cases. You can plot a few more points and you can observe that as well. So, if the point is lying on the x-axis, obviously the y-coordinate will be 0. So, I don't know what is that coordinate of where it is lying that point. So, let me name it as A. Fine. Now, always uh, on the x-axis, y-coordinate is 0. So, let me write it as 0. Okay. So, uh, the, po the point O has the coordinate A, 0. Right? Now, they have said this point O is equidistant from these two points. Right? So, what can be done? If the point is at an equidistant, we can find the distance between A and O. And when we can, then we can equate that AO with OB or BO. Then we are going to get this point A. I mean this point coordinate A because they have only asked you to find the point on the x-axis which is equidistant from these two. So we don't know A. Anyways, Y will be 0. So A we need to find out, right? So what will it, we will do first? Let us find the distance between A and O. So A O will be equals to square root of, write the distance formula x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square right so if i am talking about this uh, distance a and o so let me just uh, draw a line here but uh, for this particular case so this is a this is o so what are the coordinates of a it is 2 comma minus 5 and here O has the coordinate A comma 0. Right. So let me just substitute it here. Let it be X1, Y1. 
let this be x2 y2 then uh, then i need to write here a minus 2 whole square plus then we have 0 minus 0 minus of minus 5 right because you can observe here there is one more one more minus with the coordinate so we need to put there always two brackets right then what can be done a minus 2 we cannot do anything so let me just keep it as it is a minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus into minus it will become plus 0 plus 5 is nothing but 5 square right so let me write here 5 square so uh, this is the first equation we will be getting when I found the distance between the A and O. In the, in the same way, even the point B is at equal distance from O, point O, right? So let me just find the uh, distance between B, O. Then uh, we need to draw a line here. Let it be B, let it be O. So B has the coordinate minus 2 comma 9 and O has the coordinate A comma 0. Right. So uh, let me write the coordinate. This is X. This is Y. So X1, Y1. Let it be X2, Y2. Right. Now I'll just uh, substitute it here. X2 minus X1. So it is nothing but A minus this is formula minus right and here you can observe x1 value is also minus 2 so i will write here like this and whenever you have coordinate negative you need to write that in two brackets right then plus y minus 2 so it is nothing but 0 minus 9 right then you will be having here a minus into minus it will be plus 2 whole square plus negative of 9 right so minus 9 square value it will be what minus 9 into minus 9 which is nothing but minus into minus plus 9 9 is 81 right so this is your second equation so i in the in the question it is clearly mentioned that these two points a and b it is exactly at the equal distance right so this distance and this distance are equal so what can be done we can equate these two because the distance are equal we can equate the distance right so let me just equate that a minus 2 whole square plus 5 square is nothing but 25 which is equals to here we have equation 2 which is nothing but a plus 2 whole square plus 81 right now there both the sides you can observe there is a square square root so if there is a square root of the uh, perfect square number you can easily find the uh, square number out of that right if it is a square root of 4 you can simply write it as, it, it as 2 if it is square root of 16 you will write it as 4 Whenever there is a square root of an expression, then you can square both the sides. Square on both the side. Okay, so if I am squaring this side, then how it looks like, let me just write that. A minus 2 whole square plus 25. Then I am squaring it. So full thing I need to square here. I will write it like this. In the same way on the right hand side you need to square. Where we have a plus 2 whole square plus 81. So I am going to square it. So everything I need to square right. So this is square and this is square root will get cancelled. In the same way this is square and this is square root will get cancelled. Don't get confused with this is square. This is square we have just uh, done because we wanted to get can we want th this uh, root to be eliminated, right? So do not cancel this this uh, square we have cancelled with the square root. So what are we remaining with? 
we have a minus 2 whole square plus 25 which is equals to a plus 2 whole square plus 31 right now uh, we have one formula a plus b whole square formula and a minus b whole square formula right so what does uh, it is equal to a minus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab right so in this formula what is the value of a a is, is same as it is in the place of a it is a itself then in the place of b it is 2 that is only the different thing different thing so let me just write a square is nothing but what a square itself then we have plus so let me put here plus then we have b square in place of b here we have 2 so it is 2 square which is nothing but 4 plus uh, here it is minus so we should also put minus itself then we have 2ab right so 2 into a a value is a itself b value is 2 itself right then this one is done we have plus 25 that i have forgotten here so let me just write that plus 25 which is equals to a plus b whole square right so what is a plus b whole square formula a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab both are exactly same but here it is minus here it is plus now we have here a plus 2 right so in place of a a only is there in place of b it is 2 so a square is nothing but a square itself plus b square is nothing but here you have in place of b 2 so it is nothing but 2 square which is equals to 4 plus 2 into a what is the value of a you have here it is a itself what is the value of b you have you have 2 right now you can see you can observe here both the side it is having the square right so and it is at the opposite side of the equal so you can cancel it right but if it is on the same side of the equal and it is having both the side both the uh, variable is having the same sign and if you are going to cancel then it then it is wrong now we are remaining with here we have uh, yeah four also plus four and here also plus four so i can cancel this also because it is on the other side of the equal but if it is on the same side of the equal and both are plus if you are cancelling it it is wrong but if it is on the opposite side of the equal then if you are cancelling then it is correct then we have here minus 4a plus 25 which is equals to here we have oh i have forgotten here 81 right so here uh, now again 4a plus 81 so now let me shift everything on the on this side so minus 4a plus 25 minus 4a plus 4a after shifting this side it will become minus 4a plus 81 after shifting this side it will become minus 81 right so what are you going to get here if everything you are shifting it to the other side this side will be 0 minus 4a minus 4a is nothing but minus 80 right then you have plus 25 and then you have minus uh, minus 81 right so what are you going to get 1 is plus 1 is minus so you need to subtract it and anyways a uh, bigger number is 81 so you are going to write bigger number sign that is negative 81 minus 25 it is equals to 56 right which is uh, equal to 0 now uh, what I can do I'll just take it minus 80 plus minus 56 I'll shift it to this side it will become plus 56 and a will be equals to 56 divided by minus 8 which is equals to what numerator is having plus sign and denominator is having the negative sign then plus into minus you will be having minus here minus 7 8 ones are 8 sevens are 56 so you got the value of a as minus 7 
right so what are the coordinate of the point o the coordinate is the coordinate is a comma 0 right so what will you write in place of a now you will write 7 comma 0 right so this is the answer if they have asked you to find the point on the x axis always you need to understand on the x axis x will be having some coordinate but y will be always be having zero there so you will assume some value and then if it is equal distance then you will equate the distance for a distance between the two uh, uh, line and then you will find the value of the unknown coordinate this is the Eighth question of exercise 7.1. The question says find the value of y for which the distance between the points they have given the two points that is P and Q here. Uh, uh, the distance between these two points is 10 units they have said. So it is just entirely opposite to the previous problems that we used to do. Here they have given the distance and the points also they have given it but in the point there is one coordinate missing y coordinate here it is missing in the point Q right so it is just the opposite procedure uh, we will first uh, write the distance formula d is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square right this is the distance formula so uh, let me just uh, draw a line let the points be P and Q what are the coordinates here it is having 10 comma y and here it is having 2 comma 3 right and the distance between these two coordinates is 10 units right so let us just substitute let it be x1 y1 let it be x2 y2 so what will you write here x2 y minus x1 so it is nothing but 10 minus whole square plus what do you have in y2 place it is y itself it is only y there is no subscript there then we have y1 as 3 whole square right and they have given you the distance here right so what is the distance do you have do you have you have the distance 10 units so it will be equals to 10 so 10 will be equals to 10 minus 2 it is nothing but 8 square plus y minus 3 you cannot do anything let us keep it as it is now you can observe here uh, I need to remove the sign remove this square root here so in the previous problem as, as I discussed with you whenever there is a square root of any expression then in that case you need to square on both the side so let me just write that square on both side right so if i am squaring this 100 i mean this 10 then i'll be getting here 10 square then here 8 square is nothing but 64 plus y minus 3 whole square and everything i need to square it not only a single one i need to square this complete square root thing so here I have just squared it. So this is square and this square root is getting cancelled. Again I am going to repeat that. This square and this square you are not cancelling. You are you are about to eliminate this square root. So only you, you have just squared this whole thing on both the sides. Right. So now 10 square is nothing but 100. Which is equals to after removing the square root. What are we remaining with? You will be having 64 plus y minus 3 whole square correct so now let me just shift this uh, 64 on this side it will become minus 64 which is equals to y minus 3 whole square right so uh, uh, if I am shifting everything from left hand side to right hand side and right hand side to left left hand side then the sign will not change but if you are shifting any one thing on the other side then the sign will change if i am going to shift minus 64 to this side and i am keeping 100 on this side itself then the sign will get changed but if i am shifting entire thing on this side and entire thing on this side then it will not get changed 
So y minus 3 whole square which is equals to 100 minus 64 is nothing but 36. Right. So if I'm going to re remove the square from this side, then what I'm going to get? If I'm removing the square this side, this side square root I'll be getting. So square root of 36. Right. Plus or minus always the square number when you are finding the square of something then it is nothing but it will be having the two roots which is nothing but positive and negative one right so y minus 3 which is equals to plus or minus square root of 36 is what it is nothing but 6 right so now again we will be having the two numbers here let me just draw a line So y minus 3 is equals to plus 6 once or you will be having y minus 6 y minus 3 which is equals to minus 6. Once with minus 6 you have written once you have written with plus. So y is equals to minus 3 you need to shift it this side so it will become plus 3. So y is equals to 9 you got. Now let me check in this way minus 6 if I am shifting minus 3 to this side it will become plus 3 right so minus 6 and plus 3 is nothing but minus 3 that's it for today's class in the next video we will be solving few more questions in of the same exercise 7.1 and please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon